In this program, we're going to learn about adaptation. What is adaptation? Adaptation is a special physical feature or behavior that helps an animal or a plant survive in its environment. Animals and plants change or adapt to live in all kinds of different habitats. The special features evolve over long periods of time. Animals and plants adapt and change physical features and behaviors to help them survive in their particular habitat. For example, in the desert, this toad uses camouflage. Camouflage is a color or pattern that helps animals blend into their environment. Camouflage is an amazing feature that helps animals hide from their enemies. In the desert, where it is generally hot and dry, some plants adapt to the lack of water by going dormant. The plants actually stop growing until water is available. In a cold and icy Arctic habitat, the white fur helps to keep a polar bear's body warm. It also serves as camouflage in the snow and ice of the Arctic tundra. Camouflage helps the polar bear to hunt for food. Some plants have adapted to cold habitats too. For example, the thin needles on pine trees protect the trees from losing moisture. The pointy needles make it difficult for animals to eat too. Canadian geese have adapted to cold Arctic weather too. Geese migrate or travel to warmer places where they are able to find more food, water and shelter. In forest habitats, some animals, like this tarsier, find protection in the trees. They are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day and come out at night. The tarsier has large eyes that help it see in low light. In temperate forests, chipmunks have adapted to the changing seasons. When winter comes, they hibernate or go into a deep sleep that lasts all winter long. In rainforests, some plants have adapted to the heavy rains with the drip tip leaves. The drip tip allows large amounts of water to flow quickly off the surface of the leaves. Many flowers adapt to their habitat by using colors and smells to attract insects. Some insects are attracted to colors, and other insects are attracted to a flower's scent. The insects help the flower to pollinate and make new flowers. Animals that live on the grasslands have adapted to their environment. They have developed features that allow them to run fast to catch their prey or run from danger. The giraffe has adapted to the grasslands by growing a long neck so that it can eat the leaves from the tall trees that grow in its environment. In water habitats, animals have adapted to living underwater. For example, fish have gills. Gills allow fish to breathe underwater. A sea turtle's adaptive feature is its flippers. Flippers help it to move through water. A turtle also has a hard shell to protect it from predators. A dolphin has adapted to the sea by having a long streamlined body that lets it swim quickly through the water. Seagrass has adapted to living in water too. It needs sunlight to grow. So seagrass grows where the water is clear and there is plenty of light. We've now seen how adaptations help living things survive, grow, and reproduce in different environments. Now that you better understand adaptation, think about this. A hawk has a curved beak. 
A pelican's beak is long and pointy. How have their beaks adapted to help the birds when getting food? Think about it. 